Hello again, everyone. Uh, I kind of lied. So last week I said I uh, wasn't going to have another video for a couple weeks. I was actually able to get a lot more done. So able to bring this video out uh, before we leave to go on vacation tomorrow, actually. So uh, finish up the fuel tank in this video. As you're going to see me go through the process here. Um... Uh, just want to say, so this is a about a three and a half minute work video that took place over the course of about six to six and a half hours. So this is a really compressed time lapse of the process. As you can see here, uh, disassemble the tank and starting to rough up all the edges so you get good adhesion on the, the goop, uh, which will seal up the internal and external components of the tank so you don't have any leaks. Um, <clears throat> critical you do this so you, again the 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 goop uh, really st sticks to the metal a lot better if you have just that smooth shiny surface you know there's nothing for that goop to really grab onto um, if something were to move um, you, you could potentially have a leak so get the surface etched up and then it's uh, applying the, the the goop or pro seal is what uh, it's called uh, to all the edges and the internal components and getting everything laid in place and ready for riveting. As you'll see me talk about later, I actually ordered uh, about a month and a half ago a couple of tubes of uh, the Pro Seal, which is... Um, it comes as one component. You don't have to measure out... Uh, part A and Part B, you uh, you simply just apply it in in a tube, uh, and it mixes it. You mix it in the tube, and then you're able to use a simple caulking gun to apply the Pro Seal. So <coughs> that made this process so much easier, as you'll see uh, later on in the video. But here, applying the fuel filler neck, uh, you had to match drill those holes, and then once that's done, uh, debar everything, and then scuff everything up and. I rivet it all together. Of course, making sure you apply the uh, the goop to the inside as well. And then here we're getting ready to put on the bottom part of the tank. <laughs> the rivets that you use in this are uh, slightly different. They're sealed rivets, so there's no open end on the uh, on the inside of the rivets. When you pull the rivets, uh, they create a sealed edge on the inside. So the only thing you have to worry about is, uh, for the most part, is uh, you know, is fluid leaking out around the edges. Um, so just making sure you have a, a good enough mount. And as you can see, it is messy. Um, but the good thing is it cleans up fairly easy with uh, you know some alcohol. And I'll talk to that here in a little bit. Hey, what's up everyone? So, got a majority of the fuel tank done, sealed up. Um, still need to install the fuel sender unit and the fuel level gauge. But as you can see, you know, got all the corners and edges sealed up um, around the exterior of the fuel tank and the interior baffles. Um, just going over it now, making sure I didn't miss anything, but uh, overall, I would say the fuel tank was fairly easy, um, other than being messy, as you can see. Uh, I got some cleanup work to do, and um, some mineral spirits to uh, help out with that, but overall, it went very well. Uh, no real complaints. Uh, if I do have one suggestion, it would be to take this stuff, if you bought this, and throw it away, and get this. Uh, this was so much easier. It made the the assembly process just go so much quicker. It's a lot less messier. Um, it took me two tubes of this. So I went through two tubes to get to where I'm at right now. Um, I will need to order a very small batch to finish up the uh, fuel cylinder unit. Um, because this is expired. So I need to throw that away. Um, and the consistency. You can tell once it's expired the consistency when you mix it. Just, uh, it's not quite right. So, I'm gonna throw that out and order another small one from Aircraft Bruce. 
and uh, get the fuel cylinder unit put on and the, the fuel uh, level gauge. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, the fuel tank is for the most part done. Have to install the overflow tube on the inside and then the couple other components, but it's looking good. After that, we'll do a, a leak test and see see how it turned out exactly. But yeah, glad it's uh glad it's almost over with. But uh, wasn't wasn't that bad. It wasn't difficult at all. So see y'all soon.